Hello everybody, this is the Venus Transit of June 5th, 2012. It's the second of which, uh, the last one happened in 2004. They come in pairs every eight years. They're spaced eight years apart and happen about a hundred years or so apart from each other. The next one's not going to happen until 2117. So I thought I'd go ahead and videotape this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in 2117. Might be busy. So there's a lot of nice sun spot activity today. It's a perfectly clear day. It's perfect for this. Not a cloud in the sky. A little windy, but that's okay. Those are the sunspots. This is 4,000 millimeters, and there is Venus right there. Just perfect little silhouette. Let me get it right in the center of the screen. And that's it. That's Venus moving across the sun. Never seen anything like that. I didn't have this... Uh, optic system back in 2004. I'm using a Bader Astro Solar Film. This film is used for particle physics testing and nuclear testing. So they can view these experiments without you know, damaging our eyesight and uh, works out pretty good for, for solar viewing as you can see. It views the sun in its natural white light that's how it would look from space uh, without our atmosphere. This blocks out 99.99% of the sun's rays and just lets the good stuff through so you can look at it. Let's go around the sun here. I'm using a keypad here so the orientation kind of confuses me. We'll go over the whole solar disk here. and this will be in 1080p so on your YouTube settings uh, go to the bottom where it says um, settings obviously and uh, change it to 1080p open it up full screen you can see everything pretty good it's just amazing how, how clear Venus is That's it. I'll leave it for a couple minutes here and um, you can sort of discern how it's moving from the right to the left. The whole process of the transit takes a few hours. I think it's six hours. It's going to end right at about sunset. It's about 3.30 right here now. Uh, and this is uh, Phoenix, Arizona. This is basically the Sonoran Desert, so pretty good clear skies for this today. I think it's pretty neat. This is, like I said, 4,000 millimeters. It's a 2,000 millimeter Schmidt Cassegrain telescope, but I have a, a, a two times multiplier Barlow lens, which effectively makes it 4,000 millimeters. Let's go back down to Venus again. Right in the middle there. That's Venus. Okay, ground control over and out for, uh, for a little while here. I'm going to go post this and um, shoot some other images and uh, I'll be back.